Today, friends, we have very disturbing news all the way from New York. An explosion happened in New York around 8.30 p.m. Saturday night that occurred at 23rd Street and 6th Avenue on Manhattan's west side. This explosion sent dozens to the hospital. People were injured, but thankfully no one was killed. But a suspicious device was also found a few blocks away, placing much of the city on edge. Authorities say the bombing was intentional. According to New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, it was violent and criminal, even though they're not looking at it as a, an international terrorist situation, but a local one. So they're saying terrorism is a part of it, but it is not international terrorism, but local terrorism. Of course, this is very early in the investigation, so we will see how things unfold. But here is what we know so far. An anonymous source said the blast came from an explosive device planted near a dumpster. And shortly afterwards, the suspicious device was found four blocks away on West 27th Street. A pressure cooker, it was, with dark colored wiring. Apparently, it also had a cell phone attached to it, which could have been considered the timer. Looks very much like a bomb to me. Also, there were 29 victims injured in the explosion. 26 were taken to hospital. Thankfully, by Sunday morning, all 26 patients were released from hospital, so no one died. Thank God for that. But what we don't know is that why did the bomb go off in that particular location? Where did the explosives come from and who was behind the blast? Now, we're going to get to that now. Turns out that this man or this suspect they have captured is known as Ahmad Khan Rahami. He was captured after a shootout in Linden, New Jersey on Monday morning. Harinder Baines, the owner of Murdy's Tavern, spotted him sleeping in the doorway of his bar and called the police. Baines said he recognized him after seeing pictures of him on CNN. So they found him and a shootout happened and he suffered multiple gunshot wounds, but he was still alive when they captured him. And so now he is in custody. And there's so many things going on, so much, so many questions we want to ask. But friends, if you want to you know, know the details of this thing, the articles are in the description down below. What I really want to know is why, why is this even happening? What's the motive? No one knows why this is happening. Terrorism? I mean, this, this can't just be fooling around. I mean, who, who would plant bombs right in New York as a prank? Right? So there, there's way more to this than just, you know, what is the motive? Friends, we are living in the last days. These things are happening. Politicians like Donald Trump are saying it's going to get worse. You know, the mayor of New York is saying, you know, this is, this is everyday living now. It's getting normal, right? This whole past year, all we've seen is bombings, and explosions, mass shootings, mass killings. And here we go again. The, these are the indicators that we are living in Earth's final days. But what do you think? Is this just another happening? Is just to say random coincidence? Or are things getting worse? Will things get better? Leave your comments down below. But yes, friends, these are some serious times. Stay in the word. Be vigilant. Fast and pray because Jesus is about to come. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. And we will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. And God bless.